Hey, what's going on guys, Oscar Mini here and today in this video, I bring to you my review on the Techno Phantom 9. So I've basically been testing a couple phones for the past few weeks and the Techno Phantom 9 happens to be one of those devices with a trick up its sleeve. And spoiler alert, it's got an in-display fingerprint sensor. So in this video, I'd hopefully touch on the triple camera setup, the battery life and everything there is to know about the smartphone. So without taking much of a time, yo guys, let's get started. First things first, let's get to see what comes off the box. This is just a reenactment of the whole unboxing procedure as I lost the main footage to a corrupted SD card. The box here clearly shows the fingerprint sensor position on the display and the first thing that comes off the box is an envelope that houses the SIM ejector tool, paperwork, warranty card, user guide and a silicone case to protect this device. Next up is the smartphone itself that really feels light and looks amazing. The color of the variant I have here is called the Lapland Aurora, something along the lines of a blue-purple gradient. Now those are out of the way, we then get to see the charger, and no, this isn't a fast charger as it's rated 10 watts, the earpiece and a micro USB 2.0 cable. Pretty much the basic stuff out of these devices lately. Back to the device. The top has nothing to it while the left side houses the dual sim tray, obviously 4G with a dedicated micro SD card slot. The right side spots a volume rocker and a power button while you get a combination of a 3.5mm jack, mouthpiece opening, micro USB 2.0 port and oh how I expected USB Type-C in 2019 from Techno and next to it is the downfiring speaker grill which I usually ended up accidentally blocking off while gaming. The rear houses a triple camera setup, 16 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. You also find the LED flash, Phantom Text, and the Techno branding. You do not get to see the fingerprint sensor here, and that's for a reason. The fingerprint sensor lies within the display. The front houses the 6.4 inch AMOLED panel, that's 2 megapixel lens, and a slim earpiece opening above that. Also, a dual flashlight, and that's it for the front. Setting the Phantom 9 up took me roughly 2-3 to three minutes to have everything up and running, ranging from selecting my region, language, and then face and lock and fingerprint profile for security. The in-display fingerprint sensor isn't as fast as a regular fingerprint on other devices, and this is what we obviously have to put up with new tech. I'd usually pick the fingerprint option anytime considering the fact that the face and lock feature on most mid-range smartphones do not have any other layer of security and they can be easily tricked. I mean my kid bro has been able to unlock all the Infinix and Techno devices I've reviewed on here in the past year and I don't think we really look that much alike. Design-wise, the Techno Phantom 9 is basically a beauty to behold. No doubt, it feels pretty light, weighing about 167 grams, and this device is thinner than my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, coming in at 7.8 mm. It can clearly be seen that the rear is made of polycarbonate material, and the gradient at the rear is pretty much crowned with a series of parallel patterned lines. The Techno Phantom 9 is hands down the best design smartphone I've seen from Techno IMO. IMO? IMO? Is that even a thing? Do people even say that? Anyways, the display here is a 6.4 inch Full HD AMOLED display, something that was skipped in the last generation and thank goodness we've got it back here. It has a display resolution of 2340 by 1080 an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9 and a 403 ppi density. Once more in my opinion, the display here is quite saturated with the colors and the pictures here tend to have this warm feel to them. Otherwise, it is pretty much a nice looking display, very much usable outdoors and can really go down to almost darkness in a dark room. The display comes right out of the box pre-installed with a screen protector and this is obviously for the fact that a fingerprint sensor underneath might not work with every other screen protector out there. Now, the camera is one of the things most people are here for and here is the deal. You get a triple camera setup at the rear with a 16 megapixel main lens, 8 megapixel wide angle shooter and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. As with most devices in this price range, the photos are quite usable and will be great on your social media profiles. Also, you have to calibrate your mind to the fact that the display has a warm tone to it. Hence, what you get to see on this display while color correcting or editing your photos might not really be what you get to see on other devices. So generally, we get this great looking photos, the wide angle lens just gives this different looking toned photos from the main camera, at least I did notice that and those photos were less sharp, something we've come to see on lots of photos from wide angle lenses on smartphones lately. In pitch darkness, the flash is one of the things that comes to your rescue as there isn't a night mode option yet from this brand as far as I know. 
portrait mode was just there and usable. At least it did work and could sometimes give great looking photos like the one you see here right now. The video on both the front and rear cameras can get up to 1080p and you are not able to switch between lenses, that is the wide and the regular lenses while making a video. More so, I did not notice any form of stabilization going on here. The front facing camera comes with a dual flash setup which are dimmable but not while recording. Photos coming from this lens were quite amazing and looked really crisp. I loved what I saw here ranging from the color representation down to the bokeh mode on this lens. Here is also a video test from the front facing camera here in. What's up guys, just coming in here. This is a front facing camera video and audio test for the Techno Phantom 9. And I think I really do like the color representation here. Do let me know what you think about this camera in the comment section as I'd love to hear from you guys. Speaking of the performance, the Techno Phantom 9 isn't exactly what I expected of the device prior to its launch. And don't get me wrong, it definitely will serve a regular smartphone user's need. You get 6GB of RAM, 128GB of internal storage with about 9% use and 115GB available to you out of the box. It has been powered by the Helio P35 processor which is a 2.3GHz octa-core chipset and here is the benchmark score of this device. Running social media apps is an absolute breeze, multitasking was evidently superb and this is due to the fact that you have 6GB of RAM with about 4GB of that size available to your running apps. I played a couple games here, PUBG inclusive and it was very much playable. Again, not the best experience I've had on a smartphone as you could easily get those lags and jitters but hey, this device pretty much performs okay and especially for the price. Some other things to note include the fact that it runs on high OS 5.0 which is techno skin based on Android 9 Pie. You get the smart panel option for a shortcut to apps and screen recording or screenshots. There are a couple bloatware within the smartphone with some being removable. Ads were almost always coming up by notification, all thanks to iOS. And being the person that I am, I usually will throw up Nova Launcher on my devices after a few days of use on the stock launcher and the Phantom 9 wasn't an exception. The battery life here isn't what I'd call amazing, but it'll have a whole day's use. I'd always love you guys to bear in mind that this is dependent on the activities you run with your smartphone. A heavy smartphone user might not fit into this equation, but this statement will be true for an average smartphone user. With a 3500mAh battery, I got 57% charge in an hour and a 97% charge in 2 hours. So charging the smartphone from 0 to 100% took me roughly 2 hours and 10 minutes using the charger that comes out of the box. Now let's talk about the price. Lots of vendors sell at different prices ranging from 77,000 Naira to 85,000 Naira here in Abuja. But the official price is about 77,000 Naira which converts to $210 and that was the price at which I finally purchased my unit here. So what are my thoughts on the Techno Phantom 9? It's pretty much a great looking device and performance wise gives you great value for your money. The pictures coming off would definitely look amazing on your social media profile and timelines and more so you are getting an amazing AMOLED screen and in-display fingerprint sensor. I mean that's an advanced tech I can bet most of your friends don't have at the moment. By the way, some of the things I'd have loved to see on the Techno Phantom 9 would include a notification LED, USB Type-C and a larger battery life. But hey, for $210, I think it is a great deal. Some other things I'd love to point out here include, whenever I wanted having an immersive gaming experience, I quickly realized I preferred connecting a wireless or Bluetooth earpiece. It's got Bluetooth 4.2, so I wasn't going to block off the speaker grills and that could get annoying. Yet another thing, if you don't want your device rocking any plain surface like a rocking chair, put it in the provided case as this evens out the camera bolt on the Phantom 9. And there you have it, my detailed review and experience with the Techno Phantom 9. Do let me know your thoughts and throw those questions you want answered as regards the device in the comment section below. More so if you did love this video do give it a thumbs up and if you felt otherwise give it a thumbs down twice. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Other than that is goodbye and I'ma catch you in the next one. Cuidate.